Welcome back to Loki Lawn Care. We're going to talk about replacing the mower blade on the Toro Recycler 22. Now, the Toro Recycler with the Smart Stow makes it really easy to flip the deck up and replace the mower. You've just got these blue tabs here on the mower handle that you turn down, flip the handle up, lock those into place, and then flip your mower right up on end, right? And it'll sit there beautifully for you so you can tend to the blade. Now, check out my previous video if you haven't, if you're curious about how often to replace a blade and what to look for when you go to buy a blade. Um, check out that video, I'll link it in the description below. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about, for this mower specifically, the Toro Recycler 22 inch. How to replace the blade, it's really easy. What I've done is gone to the hardware store, picked out a new blade. Uh, this blade that I've got here is a couple years old, it's got some dents in it. And rather than go and sharpen this and try to get that edge good again, it's time to replace it. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. The new blade, I can definitely tell, is a little thicker. And just for safety reasons, and to get a better cut on the lawn, I'm gonna replace this. Now, in general, I would replace this in the spring after the first couple of cuts of the lawn. We've got the debris from winter up. Um, but in this case, to show you, I'm just gonna replace this now and then put the old blade back on for the rest of fall here in Maine, uh, and then wait and put this brand new one on in the spring. But I just wanted to show you this. What you're gonna need is a 5.8 socket for the Toro Recycler 22 and it's your regular righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. So what we're gonna do is spin it in a counterclockwise direction, put that on there, and counterclockwise is gonna loosen this bolt. It's a single bolt for this blade. We're gonna make note that the mower itself spins counterclockwise. And so when you're putting the new blade on there, you wanna make sure that the teeth here on this name brand Toro blade are facing in towards the deck. So just make note of that because you want to put the blade on correctly. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this bolt off. Now, if you haven't changed a blade in a while, this is going to seem very stuck. Um, it could take some muscle to get it off. Throw a little WD-40 on there to loosen up. Um, that'll help you as well. Um, but use the, the blade itself for leverage. So what I'm going to come down here, I'm going to move my wrench back and then I'm going to pull in like this and loosen the bolt right there. So once we've got the initial um, bolt loosened, we can take the rest with our hand. And again, if it's really stuck on there, throw some WD-40 uh, and that should loosen it right up. Just be careful that you don't cut your hand. So we're gonna take the bolt, keep the washer that's on there with it. Put that right there. There's a face plate that we're gonna take off right here. Set that back down and take the blade off. So this is my old blade, right? We've got, I don't know as you can, it'll focus there, but we've got some dents right there. And dents, it's not awful. Uh, it could be sharpened up and probably be good for a little while longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace this since I've got the one here. So I'm gonna take the wrapping off of this. You could get the off brand or the name brand because I wanted the teeth here the signature Toro Recycler teeth. I got the name brand, which gives me the teeth here. The off-brand one that I saw at the hardware store just had some smooth arches on that back there. Not gonna do as good a job of chopping up leaves and grass as this is gonna do. So again, we made note as to which direction the blade's gonna go on there. So in this case, these teeth here need to go in and towards the deck. So we're gonna line that up with the center hole. We're gonna take the face plate, we'll stick that right on there, line that up. Take the bolt, make sure the washer is still on there, stick that in the center hole, and it's going to be clockwise motion, just your typical uh, motion to screw the bolt in, get that secured. Make sure the face plate's sitting on there straight so we get good contact between the face plate and the back plate. And then we're gonna switch the direction on our socket wrench and we're going to tighten that up. Again, as you get in, as it gets tight, you can use some leverage there. Um, again, be careful not to uh, cut your fingers. Come back around, use a little leverage there, tighten that right up. 
and that's as simple as it is. Now our new blade's on there, it's tightened down, and we're in the correct direction. Much sharper, much more secure than my old blade. And that's as simple as it is. If you've got questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Hey.